Lifetech's bankruptcy estate led by CEO John J. Ray 3 has filed a lawsuit against Bybit, its investment arm Birana and executives to recover funds and digital assets that Bybit withdrew from FTX before its collapse. The lawsuit claims that Bybit used VIP access and ties with FTX staff to withdraw significant cash and digital assets from Mirana, Time Research and executives. The total value of assets withdrawn by Bybit and its executives from FTX has now reached almost $1 billion. Bybit is using these assets as leverage to seek recovery for a remaining balance of $20 million that it could not withdraw from FTX before its collapse. The lawsuit alleges that the action violated the automatic stay in Chapter 11 bankruptcy, but the community vote passed, seemingly linked to Bybit executives. The legal action is pursuing compensatory and punitive damages from Bybit regarding the token scheme and assets held on its platform. Bitcoin has reached a milestone with 40 million ordinal inscriptions in its ledger, marking a new peak for daily transactions. On November 12, 2023, a historic 505,345 inscriptions were minted, the largest number in a single day since the inception of ordinals in December 2022. The surge in activity correspondingly elevated Bitcoin's daily transaction rate to 703,327 confirmed transactions over a 24-hour period. Bitcoin miners processed 703,327 confirmed transactions, achieving the network's second largest daily volume on record. The inscription record, coupled with the 703,327 rate on Sunday, indicates that inscriptions accounted for 71.85% of yesterday's block space. Transaction fees for high priority actions have fallen to $4.28 each as of Monday, November 13, 2023. The tradable inscription token, the BRC20 based ORDI coin, has soared by 545% against the US dollar in the last month, ranking its 112th among the 10,900 cryptocurrencies in circulation. The sales ranking for Bitcoin's non fungible tokens have also experienced a significant rise, securing the position just below Ethereum in the NFT sales hierarchy. Ethereum led the pack with $103 million in NFT sales over the last week, but Bitcoin closely trailed with a $92.92 million haul. Over the previous seven days, Bitcoin's NFT sales jumped by 246% with the SATS BRC20 NFTs, claiming the title of the top-selling collection for the week. Chicago Board Options Exchange Digital is set to launch trading and clearing in margin futures on Bitcoin starting January 11, 2024. This marks CBOE Digital as the first US regulated cryptocurrency native exchange and clearinghouse to facilitate spot and leverage derivatives trading on a unified platform. The platform will initially offer financially settled margin contracts on Bitcoin but will diversify its product suite to include physically delivered products pending regulatory approvals. The margin model aims to enhance capital efficiency, allowing customers to engage in futures trading without posting full collateral upfront. The unified spot and derivatives trading platform will streamline customer access to both markets, unlocking opportunities for increased capital and operational efficiencies. The launch will be supported by other firms in the cryptocurrency and traditional financial sector, including B2C2, Blockfills, CQG, Cumberland DRW, Jump Trading Group, Marix, Stonex Financial, Talos, Tasty Trade, Trading Technologies, and Wedbush. CBOE Digital President John Palmer expressed gratitude for the support from industry partners, stating that futures will foster additional liquidity and hedging opportunities in crypto and represent the next critical step in the market's continued growth. That's all in this bulletin for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www3worldtv.io or scan the QR code.